If you love reggae, soca, and West Indian food, you're in for a treat. That's because millions of people will be partying on the streets of Brooklyn for the New York Caribbean Carnival. There have been events all weekend long leading up to Juve later tonight. And Sonia Rincon, that is where we find her along the parade route on the Eastern Parkway. Sonia. Shantae, I'm outside the Brooklyn Museum, and there is a pre-parade party happening here right now. But of course, the main event is tomorrow all along Eastern Parkway in Crown Heights. Labor Day weekend in Brooklyn is all about saluting and celebrating New York's many Caribbean communities and watching them all come together with a series of events all leading up to Carnival tomorrow. So I'm originally from Jamaica, so it's going to be a great experience listening to the music and participating in the parade. The flags of Caribbean nations will be waving proudly along Eastern Parkway as the celebration starts before dawn with Juve, followed by the New York Caribbean Carnival with traditional costumes and music and dance performances transporting Brooklyn to the islands. It's just an exciting time for the community. Obviously, this carnival is one of the largest carnivals in North America, but also a carnival that brings in over $300 million of revenue and activity um, for the weekend. So it's a very exciting time for the Caribbean American community. The whole weekend of events leading up to the day included Panorama last night, recreating a tradition from Trinidad with a competition of steel pan musicians who come up with elaborate arrangements. It comes from classical music, so it's like listening to a symphony orchestra on steel. Steel pan represents a bit of like tuning into your spirituality and really just joining in as a community and really embracing like ourselves and our culture. And the kiddies carnival for the youngest in the community exploring traditions. The culture is coming together, the music, the food, just the whole vibe and everything. Juve celebrations in the morning at Grand Army Plaza and the parade later in the day along the parkway are major security events for the NYPD, making sure to keep weapons and alcohol out of the mix with checkpoints. This year's police presence featuring the debut of drones, which can get to a location within seconds when police are called to help disperse crowds with 50 different pre-recorded messages. This is the New York City Police Department. Or to help police decide whether to deploy more resources. The mayor and NYPD officials insisting Friday that the drones will only be sent in response to 911 calls and not to spy on anyone's backyard barbecue. And you can see some of the vendors here getting people ready for the parade, selling flags and banners representing countries and getting appetites ready for all the delicious homemade food tomorrow. Tonight's party at the museum ends early to give people time to rest before the early festivities tomorrow and to put the final prep work into all that food and those elaborately, expertly crafted costumes. So much time and effort and love go into those. Live on Eastern Parkway in Prospect Heights, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.